Now at 11, a memorial growing on the IU Bloomington campus for a Hoosier legend. The death of Bob Knight announced by his family this evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Nicole Griffin. Brad Brown is with us for a look at how Knight is being remembered tonight, Brad. Bloomington and all over the Hoosier State, Nicole. He was the coach of the IU basketball team, but across three decades grew into a monumental figure for so many in Indiana. The statement came from the Knight family on their website just after 6 p.m. this evening. Coach Knight surrounded by family at his Bloomington home, being remembered as a beloved husband, father, coach, and friend. We start tonight on the IU campus, WRTV's Taj Simmons at Simon Scott Assembly Hall. Bob Knight held domain over this court for nearly 30 years, winning hundreds of games and making millions of Hoosier fans along the way. Knight passed away this evening at age 83, and the fans who got to watch him work remembered him as one of the best at his craft. Assembly Hall became a place of mourning tonight. Fans attending the women's basketball game learned of his passing on the big screen, and outside, tributes filled the plaza for night. The plaque for his 1976 undefeated championship team was lined with roses and had a hand-taped note to it saying thank you for the memories. The people inside Assembly Hall tonight filed out in their cream and crimson and remembered Knight as the person who made them proud to be a Hoosier. He was everything to my generation. I can't, I kid you not, he was, a, he was an excellent, excellent coach and a very, very good man. It would still be a, a, a known as a top basketball school, but Bob Knight made it special. He really did. And just like that game against Syracuse, I don't believe there's another coach could have won that game. I don't want to say anything about throwing a chair, but uh, <laughs> there was his temperament was a little different than most at the time, but uh, a hell of a coach and a hell of a person did a lot of things for a lot of people. Tributes to Bob Knight may be hard to find in Assembly Hall, but there are three that dangle over the court at all times. The championship banners from 1976, 1981, and 1987. For now, in Bloomington, Taj Simmons, WRTV. Taj, thanks. Now, if you grew up in this state any time over the past 50 years, chances are you came from an IU house or a Purdue house. As for those of us from IU, Indiana, Coach Knight remains a legendary figure. His legacy is, of course, more complicated than that, but all of it behind a winning tradition. There are so many layers to Bob Knight's coaching career at Indiana University. There were the wins, 662 of them over 29 seasons, the Big Ten titles, 11 of those, and the national championships, 1987, 1981, and perhaps the best team ever in that undefeated 1976 season. He coached Team USA to the gold medal at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. Part of that lead-up included games in Indianapolis and a summer session on IU's campus. But there were also the elements of the general, the fiery coach that left a legacy of being one of the most intense sideline leaders in the history of college basketball. We're going to pick a team that is conducive to our playing as well as we can possibly play. Not the guy that you think has played well. You know, if we thought that your opinion was important, we would have consulted you last night. Perhaps the most memorable of those moments came in February of 1985, throwing a chair across the assembly hall floor during a game against Purdue. Decades later, still remembered as one of college basketball's iconic scenes. And Bob Knight is gone. Like yeah. Never short for words and always outspoken. Coach Knight was always a tell it like it is kind of guy. You know, I've told a few people in here that we're not a very good basketball team. And you laugh at me and, well, hey, you know, I forgot more about this game than all you people combined are ever going to know. And I'm telling you that this is not a very good basketball team. Now you put that down. Listen, you get these things back here so people can see. And then I'll take all you television people and build an island for you. In my entire adult life, I've never used the expression game face. So I have no goddamn idea what it means or what you're supposed to do. When his Indiana career was ended in the fall of 2000, Knight went on to coach another six-plus seasons at Texas Tech, taking the Red Raiders to the NCAA tourney four times. Following his coaching career, Knight took his knowledge and personality to TV, ironic given his salty relationship with the media over the years, spending several seasons as an analyst with ESPN. 
In the later years of his life, Coach Knight would make his way back to Bloomington, back to Assembly Hall. In February of 2020, a reunion of his former players turned into a rousing show of respect as Knight returned to IU's home court. To see what it's like and see the reaction from the people who love and appreciate not only Indiana basketball, but Coach Bob Knight. We thought that was really important given just life. Just get him in, let him enjoy it, and we really think he did. This response tonight from current IU head coach Mike Woodson. Knight recruited him to IU. Woodson had several visits to practice from his coach during the past couple years. And there was a moment of silence at Mackey Arena tonight. Purdue hosting an exhibition game, a building with so many epic battles over the years between Knight and Gene Cady. And there will be so much more in the days that follow out of this from all over the state, from those of us that kind of worked in this. I never had a chance to cover Coach Knight. Dave first did. I had a chance to talk with him, and we shared some of that we will in the days ahead. What I do remember, my first job was in Fort Wayne as a Chiron operator. There were three people for whom we did not have a Chiron. It was the Pope, the President, and Bob Knight. Everyone knew. <laughs> and that was how we made TV back in the day. But that was just kind of as, as Indiana as you get kind of in, yeah. in that day and age. And I, I think all over Indiana, all over the country, people were sharing their memories of that. I, oh, yeah. I was at Purdue 83 to 87. Yeah. And I remember watching Coach Knight on the sidelines as much as the players on mm -hmm. the court. There was an electricity that he brought to a game that hasn't been replaced, and I don't know that it ever will, because it was a different time. Yeah. And so you just didn't know yeah. mm -hmm. how it was all going to unfold. Yeah, my grandma was a huge fan, and I remember she had so much memorabilia of Bob Knight in her living room. Yeah, so much more in the days to come, for sure.